GOP Congressman Mike Garcia from Santa Clarita under fire tonight, accused of selling off thousands of shares of Boeing right before the release of a devastating report back in 2020. That story being reported in the Daily Beast. Congressman Garcia vehemently denies the claims, calling the story full of blatant lies. KCAL News political reporter Tom Wade is live in Garcia's district of Valencia with more for us tonight. Tom. And good evening to you, Juan. That's right, Mike Garcia's office tonight saying this is a regurgitated story, one with plenty of falsehoods, they say. They also do admit, though, that they had a late disclosure but reported it after the 2020 election. I flew fighter jets in the U.S. Navy to protect the American dream. GOP Representative Mike Garcia campaigned on his experience flying military aircraft. Now it's the sale in 2020 of his stocks in commercial aviation that has him on defense. A story published in the Daily Beast claims Garcia sold 50,000 shares of Boeing weeks before his committee made public a devastating report connected to the deadly crashes involving Boeing's 737 Max. The 737 Max was grounded for two years after two horrific and deadly crashes. The Daily Beast story also claims Garcia failed to report the sale as he was required to do until after he won the hard fought re election campaign in 2020. Former federal prosecutor Scott Tenley. There is going to be a paper trail. The question is going to be what did he, what was his intent? Did he intend to hide it? Did he intend to trade on the Boeing inside information? That's the question that, that really needs to be looked into. Congressman Garcia's office released a statement responding to the claims, saying in part, this is a desperate attempt to resurrect a previously failed partisan attack. The fact is, Congressman Garcia started to divest from companies as soon as he was elected in May 2020. The statement goes on to say, Congressman Garcia immediately rectified the accidental late filing. Everything is filed and everything is public. People are sick of these blatant lies. Representative Garcia represents one of the most hotly contested districts in Southern California. Voters say the claims raise questions about how members of Congress use privileged information. It's supposed to be serving us, not themselves. And obviously they have, you know, information that they get before we do, right? So they can use that information unlike us common walking citizens. I think that they should, you know, be held to the same standards that we are held to. Loyal law professor Jessica Levinson. It doesn't appear that everything was in fact filed. Um, disclosure laws serve three purposes. One is to ensure that other laws are in fact followed. The other is to ensure that the voters have all the information they need when they're weighing in on who their representatives are. And the third is to try and deter bad behavior. In this case, there does appear to be a failure to disclose, and that does appear to have robbed the public of information that might have been useful for them. Voters tonight in this hotly contested district say they want to see continued oversight and increased oversight over members of Congress for these stock sales. Reporting live in Valencia, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL News. Tom, thanks.